Okay guys, in this video, we will do some advanced editing and we will check all the tools and the menu items that we have in the editor toolbar right here. So the first thing I want you to do is to open the MXD, California MXD that we used in the previous videos and to enable the cities layer, the freeways and only Orange County cities. Uh, this is the points, lines and the polygons. And we are gonna use this three layers to draw some sample features here and do all the editing options on this three layers so we will come here and start editing and we will start to draw some points here and then some lines and then some polygons so we are going to start an editing session right here and we are going to check the cities in case if you cannot find this uh, window here you can hide or view it from here so if I cancel this one right here and I want to view it again I just click on create features and here we are going to select the cities we are going to draw some points right here and the lines one straight line and another one intersect with another line and polygons And then we are going to check what we have here, this editing tool or selecting tool. So this tool is used to select features or double click on the feature to edit it after you already finished drawing it. So let's start by the menu right here. Here to start editing, stop editing and save your edits. Move is to move a certain selected feature. So if I have this one selected and I come back here, I will see move. And here I can enter where I want to move it using the X and Y, using the meter values. And if I enter any value here, it will go to the location where I want it to be moved. Or I can just move it by moving it right here. So any feature you select, you can move it using the mouse. And the second option we have, we have split. It's hidden because it only works on lines. So we have to select a line feature. And we come here and we will see that split is have been enabled and construct points and copy parallel have been enabled for the line feature. So let's see split. Split give you the option to split this line based on distance or into equal parts. Let's say if I want to split this line to four parts, it's gonna split this line I'm selecting right here to four equal parts. So now I have one, two, three, four. And then we will select one other line and we will see what other options we have construct points and construct points will help you create uh, like points along this line so if you for example have a lion or let's say free let's say a freeway and you want to create points along this line let's say every mile or every 10 meter you enter here uh, the distance between this points that will be created and here you say if you want this points to be uh, starting from the start point or the end point here is the start point because the arrow is looking this way and here is the end point what i will do here i will just choose numbers of points and i will choose i want to add five points to this line and here to ask you which kind of points features you want to create these points to so for example, here when I say create five points, it will create five points type of cities. So now I have a point here, I have a point here, and I have the five points I created. I can also come here and select this one again. And here also we have copy parallel, and copy parallel will basically create a copy of this line right next to it. Nothing else other than that. And when I click on it, it asks me which template you want to use for the new lines. What is the distance between the new line and, and the existing one? Do you want to copy this line to both sides or to the left or the right? I will say to the right side. And how you want the corners of the new line to be. And I will click OK. So it created a new line for me here on the right side of this line. Here's the new line. And this is the original one. If I, for example, took this line here and I do it again and I say I want to both. I will be having two lines right here. And the next thing we have is merge. Merge will help you merge features together in one feature. So for example, the one we split here, we have four features. This is the first one, second one, third, fourth. If we select all of them and we say merge, 
it's going to be merged together. Here it is asking us which line you want the others to be merged to. So I'm going to choose this one. I say OK. Now I have one feature instead of having four. The, th the other option here we have is buffer. And buffer will, ba will basically create a buffer around the feature I, ca I created. And this buffer can be in a line or in a polygon. So here, for example, I'm going to select that I want to create a buffer to be a polygon from this layer that I already have. And I will say the distance to be 5,000 meter. When I click OK, it created a buffer around this line. Same thing for the polygons. I can create buffer here. And if I tried the other option, let's change it to line. It will create a line buffer around this polygon here with a 5,000 meters distance. So now I have a line that is buffer around this polygon and I created a buffer around this line right here. So let's delete this and delete that. So the next option I have here is union and union will actually merge these two lines but not merge them in the shape. It will merge them in the attribute. What that means is let's say for example I have two this separate lines and I select both of them. Then I will choose union. I'll say OK. Now I have other two lines created but in, in the reality they are one feature so if I open the attribute table and I checked the attribute for this one it will be one attribute here it will be attribute for each one of them but here we have one attribute for both features and you can make union between how many features you want the next option we have here is clip and clip will cut piece of the polygon using another piece of another polygon. So if I selected this one and I put it on top of this one, now I can clip this polygon based on the shape of this one. So if I come here and I say clip and I say no buffer distance, I'll say OK. Here you have the option to preserve the area that intersects or discard the area that intersects. So here you basically say which area you want to keep. So let's try both of them. Here, discard the area that intersects, I'll say OK. Now if I move this one, you will see that this part here have been clipped. And if I came here and I do the same clip, but I will choose preserve the area that intersects, I'll say OK. Now if you move this one, you will see that this one have been intersected and clipped from the original polygon. Let's, uh, and also at any time you can come to edit and say undo or control Z so I will undo what I did or you can click control Y and redo it again any move you have any kind of editing you did you can always use control Z and control Y to uh, redo or undo what you did so this is the clip if I came and do clip again but I use this time I use buffer buffer will create a buffer around the area that I clipped so let's say here so as you see here it did the clip but also it created buffer of 5000 meter around my original polygon to do the clip in the other polygon control Z and let's move this one back here here snapping you can enable the snapping from here as we discussed before or you can disable it from here more editing tools. This is more advanced editing tools that we will come later in the master section. Editing window. This is the windows that show up here. This is the create feature window, which is this one. Attribute. This is the one we used in the previous video to add our attribute data. Sketch properties is, for example, if you editing this polygon, it will show you the X and Y for each uh, vertex in this polygon. And the other option we have is options and this is the options for your editing and we will come to this options window when we go to our master editing section. So also here when you after you finish drawing you can select a feature or you can double click to do editing and when you double click to do editing you will see the edit vertices toolbar have been enabled for you. You can also if you cannot see the edit vertices toolbar you can come here and say edit vertices window so it will open up for you.
So what we have here is this is the regular select feature like the one we have here and this one is used to add vertex. So for example, if I already draw this polygon and it's a very big polygon that I don't want to mess it up, but there is one area that I need to fix and I need extra vertex. I come here and say add vertex and I click where I want to add this vertex and now I have an extra vertex here. Same thing for the lines, same thing for the points. Also, you can remove a vertex by using this tool here and click on this vertex to be removed or this one to be removed. If I click on this one to be removed, what will happen is the polygon will be connected using this two vertices right here. So if I click on this one on the corner, the polygon have to change it. And if I double click, if I click, if I double click on it, it will be uh, done and change it for me. And here again, you can see the X and Y for each vertex you have. And when you click on it, you select the vertex. So it tells you what vertex you selected. And this options is really good when you draw really large polygon that have a lot of vertices. Uh, this options here will help you make sure that you are doing the edits on the right location. Now the next thing we have is continue feature tool and this one is used for example if I have this line here let's choose a single line and I want to actually to continue draw this line as a one line I double click on it and then I choose continue feature tool and I can continue drawing the line. The next tool we have is a stretch and stretch will help me move my polygon like this. So it will, tr it will use the center point or the first vertex I draw for this polygon, polygon as a center point. I, and I can stretch the polygon, make it bigger or smaller, or I can rotate it however I want. Same thing for the line. If I came here and I said I want to use the stretch, if I used any vertex to move it, it will keep the first vertex the same and the second one the same, and it will adjust the rest of the line based on this movement I'm doing. Or if I hold on to the last one and I move it, it will keep the first vertex the same and move the line at to any direction I want. So this is basically to stretch, change the size and how your feature looks like, but it always keeps the first vertex in the same location and for the line, the last vertex in the same location. Here is finish a sketch and finish a sketch will help you like finish your sketch while you are drawing. So let's disable this one. So let's say I'm moving this vertex right here. I'm doing some changes to this one. You can double click anywhere or you can just say finish sketch to finish your editing. So that's edit vertices toolbar and that's what is the options gives you. Also keep in mind that this options here is very accessible when you do the editing. So if I have the editing option here without using this tools right here, I can come here and right click on the line and say insert vertex or I can choose a vertex right click on it I see delete vertex so this is the options we have here and I can insert the vertex and I can move it and I can right click anytime on any vertex I can say finish sketch or delete sketch or finish the part or I can also select all vertices for here so one of the things that you will always notice is that you can achieve the same thing from different ways. So here I can achieve it from this menu when I right click on the vertex, or I can achieve what I want from here by add a vertex or remove a vertex or finish my sketch. So you have a lot of options while you are doing your editing. So now we finished looking at this menu option. We finished looking at uh, this menu right here and the edit vertices toolbar. Let's see what other options we have right here.